Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a chit chat and get ready with me because I'm actually headed to go serve at church. I'm serving at the moral location today on the worship team, as you know. If you don't know, now you know. I'm just gonna get ready and we're gonna talk as I get ready, you know? So let's just jump in and get started. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you comment and let me know what you're feeling about the video. Also follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Insta stories too because I do a lot on the Insta stories and then I post maybe twice or three times a day on my actual page but the insta stories is kind of fun so follow me on there too all right comment if you are a returning subscriber i want to know those of you who are constantly watching my videos let me know who you are because i want to give you a shout out and you never know i might send you some free stuff just get ready <laughs> hopefully this is not too long but i want to talk about a few things so first i gotta take my lip off you know what i'm saying i'm gonna apply my elf cosmetics lip primer if you follow me on instagram then you see that they reposted a picture of mine i was like oh hey praise the lord because i love this lip primer it costs four dollars and it works so well now you're probably thinking you didn't even prime your face i'm gonna do that right now i need my hair to dry because i'm putting it up today so i have my head tie still on look at my puff my hair my hair is, is my hair my hair is growing look at it my puff is so cute i can't wait to leave my hair down and do some wash and goes comment on some of your suggestions for wash and goes like products because i need to know what to use i don't want my hair looking all crazy i want the curls to last prime my face Ugh. Excuse me, Skin and Avia. I forgot I had two of these. One doesn't work well, one does work well. This is the one that does work well. So I still like to use this. Okay, today I wanna go for a full coverage beat down. I don't want any of my skin to show. I want it to be the foundation. I guess I can use Urban Decay All Nighter. This is expensive. I gotta use this sparingly. All right, two pumps of this. My color is 12.0. What we're talking about today is starting a YouTube channel. Starting a YouTube channel, or should I say starting an Instagram page? That didn't even dawn on me until just now. Like people might have questions on how I did that. I don't know. Which one do you wanna hear about? YouTube channel or Instagram page? Or both, Lord, I don't know. Okay, let's start with YouTube channel since that's the reason why I turn the camera on. When I started my YouTube channel, it was a, a little over a year ago and I had already given it a try like four years ago. But when I had given it a try, yo, it was my first time really using iMovie and I did not edit very fast. I was so irritated because I had literally edited a video and then lost the footage and I wanted to cry. I was so angry. So I said, you know what? I'm not doing this nonsense. So I stopped. I remember distinctly till I had done this really colorful eye look too. It was really cute. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Mind you, this looks really really red it's gonna all come together when I <laughs> once I do more I was so frustrated that I lost that footage that I was like forget about it then like I said a little over a year ago I was like you know what I can do this gonna no actually it was more than a year ago I was like you know what I can do this I can manage it I had done some research on Final Cut Pro mind you I had I got Final Cut Pro for free here on YouTube I did not pay for it I do you hear what I'm saying to you I did not pay for it now the video that I used to download Final Cut Pro I forwarded to a friend and she said it's not working anymore I have not research any other video so I don't know of another video that'll work but I'm not kidding you all you need to do is Google Final Cut download Final Cut Pro for free Google it inside YouTube and if you don't need to buy it I don't see the issue now Final Cut Pro do be shutting down on me sometimes which is really annoying but I don't care because like I said it's free I just turned down the saturation on my camera because I was looking way too red what in the world's going on okay that looks a lot more a lot more pleasing to the eye oh my goodness this is kind of like distracting how do I talk and then do my makeup I haven't done a chit chat in a, in a while oh wait why am I out of focus hi oh this is oh come on this is ColourPop no filter concealer in the color dark 40 which I feel is a little light but that's all I got it's irritating to me when I'm editing my videos and I keep on hearing so so <laughs> Oh, poke my eye. That's what I get for talking crap. Where am I in the conversation? Why don't I have bullet points in front of me? What is going on today? First, let's discuss the equipment that you need. Obviously, you need a really good camera. Now, you can use your phone. Like, if you have a new iPhone X or X Max or even an 8, you could really use your phone, I mean, on the camera to record your videos. You clearly would need a, a tripod in order to set up so that you are not having to hold the camera. That's not going to be an effective way to record. But you can definitely do that. You can use iMovie to edit unless you want to bootleg Final Cut Pro from YouTube like I did. Girl, I love Final Cut Pro. The reason why I got it is because in my research, I was finding that a lot of beauty gurus were using Final Cut Pro and I felt like my video quality wouldn't be good if I didn't have Final Cut Pro and I just love it. I, I could not see myself going back to iMovie but either way works. 
and then you need to upload it. It takes time to upload, add the cards, to figure out your title. You obviously need lighting, unless you're gonna sit in front of a, a window, which is always awesome because you have natural lighting that way. But the only issue with that is if it's dark outside, you can't film. If it's cloudy outside, then your lighting looks weird. If the sun is just moving from side to side during your video, your video looks weird. So the natural lighting is really hit or miss. If you have some really good lights, some LED lights, then you can film at any time of the day and your video will still look awesome. I'm gonna link a video to my beauty room tour so you can see the the different equipment that I have. And if you want to purchase any of it, there's a link in the description box of that video for you to do that. You need to have the time. You need to really make sure that you're committed to doing it and that this is not just something that you're going to do just because and the next, you know, change your mind and that's it. Like you need to be serious about it. What's also important is doing research and staying abreast with what is happening in your, in your genre. If you're trying to start a YouTube channel in the beauty genre, you need to be spending time watching other beauty videos. You got to know what is going on. What are the new products coming? out you're following those companies and on Instagram and whatever you just got to know what's going on now it can be really really time consuming watching all these videos and things I don't do that because I just don't have the time I watch what I can or I'll just see the, the headlines or the titles of videos and I'm okay that's what's popular right now good to know or note to self but you know when certain launches come out and you're like okay this is a new product I look so ghostly it's fine the only other way it makes me look way too orange you just have to stay abreast with what is happening in your genre and then try to do videos that relate to people who are watching those kind of videos. So that takes some work and you have to stay up to date with what's relevant. You also have to act quickly in some cases. So for instance, recently Alyssa Ashley's Next Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation came out. If you wanted to stay up to date and create a video that is going to be pertinent and relevant in that time, then you have to go out and get that foundation and do a video within like a week or two of it launching because that's when it's hot and it's relevant. Following people in the beauty industry who are getting PR packages and things because they know what's coming out because they get stuff early and that's how you know what's going on because you are not going to start off by being on companies PR lists. In fact, I'm on a few PR lists and if you want to see a video of me talking about how I get paid to make content, then just comment and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and comment and let me know if you want to see a video on how I get paid to make content. I do work full time as you know or if you don't know now you do but I do make money from some of the content that I make here on Instagram. You also need to plan your videos out. Girl, I am learning all the time how to better, how to best plan out my videos. Before I didn't do that. So I would just sit down and start talking and then as I'm editing I'm like, I didn't mention this. I didn't even mention the, the cost of the product. I didn't even mention my review at the end. I didn't even mention my suggestions. I was just talking. So writing everything out is so, so key. Yeah, you want your videos to be fun and exciting but you want them to be informative. So like people are coming to watch my videos to learn something. So what am I teaching them? Is it a technique? Like right now, Am I teaching you secrets on how to start a YouTube channel? When I do my beauty room tour, what is the purpose? Well, it's so that you can see what equipment I use and how I do what I do. One thing to know too about YouTube is that you really have to bring a lot of energy. I'm not one that's always electrified by energy. I'm just a real, where's my water? I'm so thirsty, where's my water? I'm not one to have a whole bunch of energy. It actually exhausts me. I'm an introvert and that's just what I feel. But when you're on camera and you just be your, like if, I'm, if I were to just come on here and be my Myself, like I normally am and that's how I used to do my videos when I watch them back I'm like this is boring it's like dead so I've watched videos that give you tidbits and that's another thing too part of your research you want to make sure you follow tech channels because those channels are going to give you tidbits on how to make good videos how to reach your audience how to blah 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 and what I learned is that you have to really double your energy so whatever energy I'm feeling like right now I'm I'm going back into my relaxed energy it's just my default that's just who I am it's it's only every now and then or when I'm being really intentional does my energy really spike but that is not me that is just not that is not my baseline at all so i have to always remind myself when i'm on here to kick it up a notch because it makes the video more fun but then again you know there's some videos that i think warrant that but then there are some videos where you need to bring that energy especially if you you know to just keep the audience interested i mean comment and let me know do you feel like my <laughs> I don't want any negativity, but do you feel like my energy be low sometimes? You feel like it's right on the mark? Like, what is the deal? I mean, I do what I can. I can't be anyone but me. And I'm just not, I'm just not that kind of person. I'm I'm just a calm, chill person. Again, like I said, I can get excitable, but am I always excitable? No. 
you also have to have drive like no one's gonna wake you up and say come on put another video out you have to have the drive to want to do it after a while when you realize how much work this is and it is work again I work full-time it is work that's why some weeks I don't have a video because I'm just so bogged down but I'm really trying to be better because being consistent is key and that's another point too is that you can be consistent so if you're gonna start this and you start off by doing two videos per week you need to maintain it or if you're gonna change to one video a week you got to maintain it my thing is I'm gonna do one video a week and if I have a bonus video, then great. If I don't, then I don't. But I was doing two videos at one point last year and I was so stretched thin. And right now I'm really stretched thin because I work full time. I do YouTube part time. I have my social media. So social media in general, I do part time. That's my, I do that on Instagram and, and YouTube. Then I also serve on the wor worship team at church. I also have a little boy. I also am part of two connect groups, which are Bible study groups. One is a freedom group that's, that helps to deliver us from bondage, from things and people that have held us in bondage and captivity for a long time and then one and we're studying Priscilla Shira's Armor of God Bible study so I'm really busy yo I am boo okay it, it takes drive and interest and dedication to continue this I feel like I'm walking in my purpose doing it and if I stop I would be missing something I always forget to use the mirror and the palettes what in the world for my eyes, I'm going to use this palette that I got in my BoxyCharm box, which I did do a video on. The color I'm going to use first is Clutch. Such a beautiful bronzy, silver type of color just to put right there. I'm not going to take it all the way over, just in the middle, kind of toward the inside. Another thing to note when you're doing a YouTube channel is you have to have a thumbnail. So while doing the video or before or after, you have to think about what your thumbnail is going to be. So usually you'll see thumbnails where it's like, or... You have to think about that. And before, I wasn't always thinking about it. So I would finish the video, and the editing, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't have a thumbnail. You can also just take a screen grab from the video and use it. So now what I'm gonna do is come finish this look off and then come back, cause that's all I have. I don't wanna drag this video out too, too long. But comment and let me know if any of this was helpful to you. All right, ladies, this is the finished look. I have on my lips zipper from Colourpop. I could leave my hair like this with this little cute baby curly ponytail. I put this on. I got this from the good old beauty supply. It's gonna be so cute. It cost me $8. Okay, as always, let's give God the glory, the honor, and the praise in the name of our Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Bye.